And we're welcome to Patrick's Fair Box Soko, this massive custom world that we've completed um, the main side. But there's also this new game plus um, for stack. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so. Okay. So stack, the original world of stack was showing, putting boxes uh, in boxes. These are just like small rooms that can contain other rooms inside them, as well as contain boxes. But I can't seem to get this to work. We can get the box to eat it, eat like this. But we'd like this completely out of here. I don't see how we're gonna do that. It's weird. Oh my! What the heck was that? So <laughs> what? Okay, so we push that box. Wow, this is like some sort of... This is so weird. It's like some sort of transfer that caused this box um, that was in there to eat the opposite one and push against it. Like some sort of weird extrude. I've never seen that before. So, th that box is a target on top of it. As well as there being just a regular target in order to win. So are we just like doing this concept? so weird what oh i thought huh i thought this was not a possible move it just looks like a solid block and pushing against them would do nothing but apparently just does something now let's get it in let's win okay so we got a challenge on this row this puzzle might take a bit but if it's using anything like the regular concepts then i guess we could figure it out so this is, um, boxes pushed by default unless they're against the wall, in which case we enter it. So in this case, we're entering the one-by-one one room. Well, that doesn't look good. But if I do this, I can't really make progress. Huh. Seems like we got to use an advanced application of that previous thing. We can also, like, go in reverse there. Huh. We need to enter that, so it seems like... Whatever we do, we are putting a box in here while we're doing the pseudo extrusion into that box. It's just like, what kind of weird transfers are we going to have to do to make this work? Because that isn't working. Really weird. Also, it seems like we can't actually get anything to the to this side. So these are one-by-one one rooms, which means we can put it inside itself like that. Um, so that's a one-by-one one inside a one-by-one. One. This is a double stack thing. Just don't see how it helps here necessarily. And we don't exactly have the same situation as it was before. The biggest problem that I remembered is that it required something to be in a nook. And we never really got to retrieve it in those tutorial levels. So maybe it's worth noting that we can just get this target and then try to get a box, like a regular box to this side in order to make it win. Um, so that would be like using the extrude in reverse. The, I mean, using the pseudo extrude in reverse from um, how you how it worked in the past. Hmm. But how? By reverse, I mean on the left side instead, by the way. So analyzing some of the tutorial levels again, it was that we had a stack of two. I'm not like I'm not sure that, that a box was required as part of the stack of two there, so I'm gonna use an empty room there, and then a box here while we are in it. Well, there we go. Looks like that's it. Okay, this is a possession level, huh? So, well, no it isn't. It's just that we are now playing as an empty box as well. <laughs> this, this wasn't learned. What are we doing here? We just need to get... <laughs> we get, we need to get this T-shape uh, out of here. Get this Tetromino out of here. We don't need any of your trademarked um, games. Oh my gosh, really? We also need the, them as targets too? Unbelievable. I'm even gonna interpret this thing. It looks like we almost got there, which is kind of funny. Like, if it was just in reverse, then this would work out, so... <laughs> Wait, no, 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 because I need a box here. Oh my gosh. This has gotten... This is too much. 
Why? Like, they've already two stacked the one of the boxes, right? So we must use that cursed trick. There's like a visual thing where that doesn't look like it's got a target on it anymore. Like, you see there's the white border and it goes away here. Um, but that box still counts as being on its target. It just doesn't look like it because it's like inside another room at this point. I'm not sure if I have to stay as the empty box, by the way. But it does seem that that's what's implied at least. We call those reverse implied odds. <laughs> and no, anyway. So technically we have more blocks than are required. I mean, for the target, just... Just very weird. And we're just supposed to, like, replace... Those with empties, or what? I don't see why we wouldn't just, like, try to replace... The problem block here with an empty block. Another empty... Oh, I guess maybe that's... Well, I mean, if there was a box there, that'd kind of be good. Hmm. This is just so weird. Like, what is going on with this freaking puzzle? Okay, maybe not a box there exactly. By the way, that's um, that's a nuance with how player works with um eating. It just pops up the other side. We can go here. No, well, not here immediately, I guess. My gosh. Here, and then try to get this block. What is going on with that block? Can't no, because it's uh, against the wall, that's why. Um and try to get something in there. And then try to dump a block going that way. Oh shoot, now I can't enter that properly. Damn it! Oh, I thought it was there. I really did. Maybe just put the block in there originally though, but that doesn't work either, because we don't have enough to, like, just get the block normally. I do wonder if getting a block inside my empty player was a good idea to begin with, though. Because, like, I've... this part is fine, using the using that trick. Although, I do wonder if it was even necessary, but... Yeah, I just don't see how to get this completely working. Yes, we can transfer here, but what's the point? I do not- I kind of don't feel like it's possible to do this without possessing one of the- well, it's not possession. It's not possession at all. It's just eating one of the yellow blocks. It just feels a little like possession, but it's not, technically. Very easy to forget which one of these is like the double stack and which is a single stack, which is a huge meme. The double stack one is at the top left. I just don't see how we're gonna do this without massive issues. Right? Now watch as it fails when I try to do this move. Which is, which is like the important one. Also, I don't believe it's possible to get rid of this double stack. I don't know, maybe that's wrong. But certainly if that was just three regular rooms instead of one double stack room and a single stack, it would be much easier. That's the standard trick, but that doesn't... Wait, has it? Wait, my, maybe... It did separate the stack. Whoops. There we go. So if you look at this view, you see it says 4, 3, 2, which represents each of the rooms. Um, before, 2 was stacked in 3. So this is actually a trick that allows the unstacking of the double stack room, which I, I'm surprised to learn is just possible with regular boxes and stuff, but now we just need to arrange it, of course. I don't know, maybe it's easier to look at it in this view. This is like a special view. Let's just see the boxes, but in this case, I'm controlling the five and I need to get the two and three unstacked from each other, I believe. So I don't know how best I can do this, because things get stuck hard in this place. <laughs> so I think it's most tempting to do it there. Oh my gosh, B, get in here. Door. Um, that just pushed forward to the left side. We can't allow that. Everything gets stuck over here, maybe? No, not there. Huh. 
There's one of which is stuff stuck to the right wall, I think. But it's getting hard. I cannot get any of the blue boxes stuck if I believe that I'm supposed to get them all off. So I, I kind of want to press four up and then to the right, but I can't do that without a room entry. Um, I mean, without an eat. I cannot allow an eat to happen right here. Well, hold on. Five starts as an empty room, but I don't know if I can use that now that I've learned about it. Again, they can't get stuck to the edges and stuff. We really want the fourth. Th we we want the blue rooms to be um, all accessible. I guess maybe an exception is if the rooms were up here. Um, still, we need the proper setup. Oops. Feels like we have very little room to do that. I'm mean, trying to get this stuck, I guess, and then enter for have okay so two is the double stack room and we'd like to enter four from here in order to separate the rooms but it just causes an eat here because we don't have the space to do this maybe huh that's weird hmm what's that move was that just a, another application of that no no i think it just that was just eating normally but it did get the box to the other side which is interesting, but my setup here would seemingly require a box in the middle slot uh, side here. Which is a little hard to do. I guess it's not impossible because of this bottom section, but still. That does, just doesn't look good at all. I mean, it's still not impossible to get a box to the bottom this way. Yeah, okay, like that. And then, now we got a box in the middle with two boxes to spare over here. And I hope that these boxes will make it possible for me to... It's a double stack. Um, to get a box, like, here and here to clog up the entryway. No, still didn't work. I mean, maybe the goal was to... Um... Occupy four with, this, with the box in it, maybe? To do that, we need some buffer blocks. I'm not even sure putting a box in here would even help. But it might just like cause me to bonk the box. Like this causes a bonk, so I'm not sure why I would think doing it the other way would not. Well, I think I might finally have the setup. I just put this here. Seems like it was really good to get those two locked up in that position. Then do that, and then here. There, now the box is in the singly stacked box. Um, and I hope now that I can just enter the- of course it would- <laughs> Of course I wouldn't be able to enter it, because I messed- because like, it just bonks me. Ah, what a joke. I was really hoping to just like, enter this box and like, change it somehow, but it's not working. Who knew that doing this was so hard? Like, another alternative is like, we have more than one box there, but then, like, it doesn't... It still doesn't feel like it makes sense to me. <sighs> the more than one box would just be there to extend the reach, of course. Let's just try doing a horizontal, maybe. Just, like, the idea I start with. Another thing is that this weird pseudo-extrude, is it something that m must be a transfer? <sighs> like, could it be, for example, 4B2B? In this situation, although I'm planning to make 4-2-B-B. Um, not even sure if it's even possible with the physicality, but whatever. So that'd be 4-2-B-B. It's just, we just can't actually access it from here. Hey, can we arrange this on the other side? No, seriously. Because it's a box that gets stuck there. I don't know. Oh, I'd almost like to arrange it so that everything works on the left side. Might be just a pipe dream, though. So that means putting a box here and... And then having 2-4 and... Okay. It actually might be harder to get the 2-4 reverse than whatever the heck I was thinking. I was excited by the idea of putting 4 and 2 on the left side, but I can't seem to reverse 2 and 4. 4-2 BB, please. Is this actually working? No, it isn't. Well, we need to enter four for this to work. 
So, as I would think, this will create two, three, four, um, all as single cells, but now we can't get them off, so it's a bad idea. If this is, I'm screwed if, like, the setup is not involved for 2BB. Because then I have no idea how to picture it. Well, it's possible to keep the 4 in that position. So maybe... Well, that kind of sucked because we can't enter 4. Um, well, no. We, can't, we need to be able to enter 4 in order to, for this transfer to work. Otherwise, it just eats that. No. I was hoping that maybe with this, you know, I could do something that allows... Oh my gosh. Center that. Really. 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 Damn it, this really didn't work, even though there's a block in the three now. This is really the same problem as we had earlier. Although now there is a block in 3. Is it possible to do 4-2-B-B-B here? Really gotta question it. Oh. I need something into the center, but maybe not like that. Oh my gosh, this level. Unbelievable. What do you even do here? Things are just stuck again. I mean, how are we going to ever get this to work? With this strategy, we're attempting to do 4-2-B-B-B and push to the right from here. So we'll get just the same problem, though. We can't get to this side. Not to mention I have the feeling that the 3 will get stuck into the bottom left corner, because that's what has happened before. Also, I might have forgot 4 2 b was sufficient, but there's no way to answer here. This... Trying to get this off the wall is not going to be possible at all. I do not think so. Enter two. Ugh. I can't do this. I need to, um, second session this. Alright, this is taking quite a bit, um, quite a long time for me. It kind of, like, I spent a bunch of time looking at this offline, um, and I think I realized what I need to do. So basically, um, we needed 4 to b at least. That was the setup where we can get the boxes split. But we constantly have problems with trying to enter 4, which is the first step that's required. And I've discovered that it's possible to um, enter 4 using, uh, using a technique with the, putting a box in it. However, like, look at this. So I'm able to enter 4 now um, while I'm... Uh, while it's, like up against the wall, in this case is a box. Uh, and we can also use the same way just to get a box into four, just a regular eat there. So hopefully with this new tactic, I can figure it out now. Unfortunately, there's still nothing. Uh, let me enter it here. Hmm. Maybe I have to rearrange everything again. I mean, I don't know. Need to find a way to get this 4-2-B working. Otherwise, it'll turn into Y2P Productions. And, um, yeah. So even if there's a box inside the 4, I do need a, a space that allows me to push up into it, which seems really hard, too. Hmm. A, a small amount of possibilities would also be added if I found a way to reverse 4 and 2, but I don't see that. I do wonder if there's any use to putting a box into two as well. I thought this didn't have any use, but maybe it does. So I guess putting a box in there doesn't like prevent this room from happening, which is good. Still, I need to find a better spot for this. No. Okay, what the hell is this? The box order has changed a little bit with that. What is that? 
Okay, sure, it might be some completely different thing than I had a... Every box is... Look at this! Every box is inside two right now. What the hell is going on in this game? So it's... What is that? Eat, like, reversing the order of that, or what? Because... That just dumped three and two... Uh, uh-huh. Let's get this to the other side, I guess, if this is the idea we're supposed to go for. What the hell? Um, ah, shoot, there's a box in two. I can't do this right now. Seriously, what the hell was that, though? Okay, sure, let's just set that up. Only, you know, without the boxes there. This is unbelievable. Like, no? That's not good enough. No, wait, because we were above the two there. That's why it was working. Kind of. Okay, get this above. Now get all these stuck into the side. Nope. That didn't work. Maybe I don't have enough boxes up there? I'm not sure what's going on. Oh my, look at this! Finally. Okay, now that's just... Now that's just cursed. I'm taking advantage of me being boxed somehow, but, uh... Gosh, I don't have the intuition for why this is working. Like, probably the best intuition is that I'm pushing the room inside the room, like, somehow, like, targeting one layer but not the other. So I'm pushing it away. Um... And then three gets pushed back for whatever reason. But look, I'm pretty sure we got our goal. Our goal was to have three of these empty rooms like this. So that we could just go like this. First as hell. So, I guess we gotta do this now. Wonderful. So, teleportation block. And likely a similar trick. Although we will need to get this out or something. I'm not sure. So, finishes in there. We also need a block in the... No, no, no. The, the, just, just the player block needs to go there. But now, we can't push to the right anymore. Well, that's pretty bad. Yeah, there's cycles there. Okay. Nothing to do there. We can try infinity, but no paradoxes should be allowed here. Um, paradoxes aren't good to have in this point. Uh, what is going on? Hmm. Must this help? Nope. Hmm. Put a block between and... No. It's just cycling all... It doesn't do anything to have a block between. It doesn't move around the back th things. Oh, whoa! Look at this. Oh my gosh, we're using a paradox. Look at this. Oh, and we're finally doing it. We are finally using the paradox of putting the, the regular inside its clone, dumping these into the void, and then I win when I go on this block because I can still push it uh, being in the void. Okay. Cool. So I guess maybe that... It's a theme, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway. That teleports me up there. We have infinity as well. But we won't get on green that way. A block needs to be here. Hmm. In this case, what? Do I want it blocked? The passage there? Hmm. We need, what, three blocks there? Wow. That's very awkward. No. We need three blocks down here, not whatever the hell that was. So I don't know if this, this like goes into the void, or, or if the void is even the theme of this puzzle anymore, but... 
Certainly, I don't like getting three blocks not on the edge. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, do, do that to, like, get the blocks out, but um, it isn't working, so... Ugh. No. It pushed this, um, here first. I, we did that. It was a bad idea. It's interesting that, like, that transferred... Right, it didn't cause an eat. Still. Not sure how that helps. And... <sighs> Still need to answer a lot of this stuff. Also, there's no more green anymore now that we messed it up. Also, push this way. Interesting. Can't move the other way around, though, so the cycle isn't working. Is the blue that we copied retrievable? Mm, that was... That was almost, like, retrievably a, a nice, but it ultimately doesn't work. Hm. Oh, we are so close yet so far. If only that could, like, I don't know, who respected being blocked in that position, I guess. That box doesn't move, which should be a good thing in that context, but... I mean, do you just like switch positions on the cycle or something? Cause oh, we're so there it is, there it is. We just like needed to switch in the cycle. It was then anything infinity, okay? Cause I was kind of expecting something even more complicated, and to be fair, we're getting close. We only have that goal, no other goals. Just get onto. Oh, of course. There's a there's a target box here, and we need to get here. So, unless we can fill the void or something, we can't. We need to like. That's weird. Our win condition is like trying to block ourselves from entry. I mean, we can try this, right? Oh, <laughs> what a challenge that was. So I've already kind of like seen that case in the previous puzzle. So it wasn't hard. Oh, sure. Well. Epsilon. Epsilon happens when you put something in itself, um, which is an infinitesimally small space, and enter itself in an inf infinity amount of times. So, I'm not really sure where, where to put that, though. Is it the... Well, are we cycling? Well, that is not going to work. How do we get this off? Hmm. There's also a convenient nook over there, in case we wanted to get it off that way. Um, I'd like to get that box out of here. It seems like it's forced to try to get that box off, but... Hmm. Nervous about that. Okay. It's not working. I don't know how I'm going to fix that box situation. I can try this, then push... Um, oops, push the right? No, that's infinity. So infinity happens when... Um, why is this happening anyway? I thought it would push to the right, but I guess it's blocked because we have a block in it or something. Infinity makes sense, but no. Are we eating? What is going on here? I thought that only happens when the wall is blocked. See, that's working. Ugh. Yeah, like the order matters, but I... But the order only matters when, like, there's something about it getting stuck to the wall. It's hard to show it off now, but that's basically how it works. There's a subtle difference between that. Okay, you know, actually, it's much easier to show it here. Versus... What? N This should, like, be Epsilon. I'm not sure why it's not. Cause... Hmm. No, no, wait, no, no, I've got it in reverse. The, it, by default, if you do that, it will go into infinity by putting itself into its clone. And it only doesn't do that if there's a wall. For example, if there was a wall to the right of here, then it wouldn't have anywhere else to push. Okay. Anyway. 
We'll still need to find find a way to fix this. So I don't know if it's just like eating the block or something. Hmm. Weird puzzle. Weird dream. Like you, you you would like cycle here to get that off, but then I don't know. Well, you can do this. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Not sure about the block though. Definitely need to fix that. We can do that. That's the wrong order, and I don't know if I, the blocks and the rights is not a good spot. I'm assuming it's actually in a bad spot because of the way cycling works, but yeah. Now, all the, all these are off the wall, but we'll need this. Um, We'll need to get the room off this. So. The, no. Okay. Yes, that works too. Well, I wish to get the block off, but it doesn't freaking get... It doesn't fix that these rooms are in each other. So I thought we would need some sort of cycle that allows the block to go off. Maybe the space that needs to be in is way more restricted. No. Whatever it is, I truly believe we need the rooms separating, uh, separate from each other now. Hmm. I mean, now the now the block is in a more neutral spot. I, I don't know. No. Hey, this is the classic trick that was introduced at the start. Where, like... Well, it's hard to tell with that being blocked instead of causing an entry. Yeah, because, like, this is technically a double stack, right? Except, I guess there's no room for it to push or anything? I'm not sure. Hmm. Get to the bottom instead, maybe? And then... I don't know. This is, like, not where things should be. But... Yes! Like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as much as I'd like to do that, which is the same trick that, like, the start of the section I showed, um, this is stuck to the bottom, so... Really don't know about that. Maybe keep the... Keep this to the side? I don't know. I'm not sure. Also, can't really enter that. It was so close, but not it. Okay, I've looked at it for a while and think I found the setup. So basically, I found this suspicious. I was trying to do it, uh, visualize it in every possible spot. And basically, any spot where you can enter from this is a good opportunity. We can try to enter this to get into Epsilon from afar. And I think you're supposed to use that with the uh, box at the very top. And, jeez, I need to undo quite a bit. The box at the top. And that's not good. <laughs> With the current setup. Oh my gosh, I hate this stuff. I need to switch the order. Box at the top. Epsilon there. So we can now have, we have our perfect setup with that to the wall. And that's excellent. Now... I need to push down to get that off the, um, to get that box off the wall, and here we are. Okay. So, why did the screen freeze? What the hell is that? I hate this. Anyway, last two puzzles. We have, what, friend? Cool. Hmm. Very easy infinity off this. So what do we need? Everyone to be in a pl- oh, that's really cursed. What was that? Yeah, oh, sure. The, the entire back- of the place animates okay very cursed I'm not even sure if we're supposed to use the void anyway but we have two finishes and one target block here so I would assume that we try to use this to get this normal block out and then get the players on themselves or something this is getting cursed we're also playing as both real ones. Mm. It's very easy infinity as well. Hmm. Hmm. What's that? It's like, 
You got the box out. Oh, just kidding. The box didn't come out. Woo. Okay, now the box is out, but it's in a crap spot where... Ugh. Well, it gets to become even further down if possible, but... This is just trolling the hell out of me. Hmm. See, it'd be kind of funny if we had the box enter itself to be like to enter the other player just to make it a, a lower position or something. I just don't see it happening though. Hmm. No. Damn it. Wait, I can I can push the other player to Okay. Okay, this should be really progressing stuff. Get everything into itself. Oh my gosh, why is this the difficult part? No, screw that. Yes, they're both in um, themselves. There we go. Now watch as this is like a harder version. So what's the goal? Just... I don't even see any target blocks. So everything just needs to be inside, um... A, hmm. Looks a little impossible. So that is the void in action. The blue void. However... Hmm. However... Purple Infinity is still around. It's just, I don't really know how I'm gonna get Purple Infinity in any good way. So now... We got blue and blue. Okay. This is a spaghetti cluster of hell. I wonder if I'm like just trying to duplicate the initial procedure from the very beginning. We're, we're just like a double stack or whatever. Ugh. Unbelievable. We can actually get this brick to get this infinity block out. It's just... Ugh. Now it just it causes a different type of possession, which is really the same freaking thing. I'm not even sure what we're trying to accomplish. Like, I thought having this eat that was, like, a good idea. Because we could then push it out. Are we here already? No. Because that's not where the double stack is. This isn't even double stack. Anything. Trying to work together with, uh, with the two friends like this is, uh, is, like, hitting a bit of a brick wall. Especially with this, you don't even know, like, I guess, like, both of them have failed to get in themselves somehow. It's weird. Hmm. What, what am I supposed to do there? Get 2332 or something? Like an actual 3, not an infinity 3. I don't even understand how I'm going to get into that color of infinity. I really don't. So now... Um... Purple has gotten... Okay, we can swap them. But in this case, purple is in its own infinity block. I mean, the infinity is just in purple, that's all. Like anything I did there is going to is going to create infinity. And we just supposed to like reverse it so that No, I, I don't know how I'm gonna do that such that maybe her uh pink can go in normally. Look, look I can't decide whether it's purple or pink, but whatever. It's more purple, I guess. Freaking damn it. I'm not sure it will even let me win anyway, even if I did do that trick. And I just want the infinity off of there. Okay, so it's like it's entered itself there, but... Oh... Then the infinity block's in the way. And I'd like it to be completely out of here. Didn't even get rid of it. I mean, that is, that is an interesting idea to just use it as a way to get rid of the infinity block, which I didn't think of. Um, 
So, is that all we needed for it to be gone? Well, not from this position. Oh my gosh, it's the wrong order, isn't it? Oh no. Huh. Doesn't it, like, fall out of itself anyway? What's the point of me doing that? Except that it's, like, a surprise, I guess. Hmm. Oh, it finally worked! Wait, wait, wait. It actually worked! Without, without like, the second blue push. Okay. I, I actually had no idea that, like, it would count the wind condition in between the thing. Unless it's been... Well, no, no, no. It's been, uh... Nice. I think we've actually got into the purple infinity with this con with uh, putting the blue inside the purple. So we actually did win. Um, and it wasn't like doing a win con between movements. So finally, just below the 10 minute mark. I know YouTube's not giving me that sweet ad revenue for an obviously not 10 minute. But anyway, um, the joke doesn't even make sense when I don't have 1,000 subscribers. Wait. But, but will I get it to it while I'm recording this video? Ah, oh, shoot. Anyway, uh, that's that's pretty dumb. That was a pretty dumb way to end the video. Uh, anyway, stack plus is, come, is done. Next, we'll, there's no plus section in clone. Um, next, we, there's no plus section in Nexus either. Next, we'll be playing um, remote plus. I'm really looking forward to that because remote was my favorite. Um, but yeah, see ya. Bye.